Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't, well, I haven't filmed in forever, but um, it's nice to be back. As you guys know, the world around us has been changing and it's just been so crazy. Um, and I just noticed that my patio door is open. I'm gonna go close that once again. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how my life has personally changed um, since COVID-19 started. Um, so basically, I feel like it has been beneficial for me um, because I'm blessed enough to still be working from home and um, be able to like pay my bills and not have to worry about like any financial things. So I'm blessed in that aspect. Um, as far as like my routine, sorry guys, I keep checking my hair. Um, it's been almost a year since I cut it and it's like one of the first times like I wore it out since I cut it for like more than like 24 hours. Oh yeah, so about my schedule. So my schedule has been completely turned upside down. Um, I, I was so into like a routine and my sleeping schedule was perfect and then now it's just like, it's just done. Like I've been staying up like late, I've been getting up late. Um, basically, I don't know, I just don't feel like I have that like routine anymore. Um, and I don't know if it's really a bad thing. I feel like it's really helped like my mental health a little bit because like now I get like a little break. But at the same time, it's just like, okay, well, I'm not really getting things done. I'm not really being productive. So like, is it really the best thing? So like, I'm like in a dilemma about that part. But so the next part of this video, I wanted to tell you guys um, why I decided to cancel my Boxy Charm subscription and the reasons behind that. So the box I'm gonna be showing you guys today is the Boxy Charm Premium Box. It's not the regular base box. I didn't get that this month because I don't know and I didn't even show you guys like my last month's box because it was so bad um, they gave me like a dry like lip liner they gave me like a dry eyeliner so everything was just dry I was like this is not even worth putting it on YouTube because you know it was just so it was so petty so yeah I'm gonna show you guys what's in the box while telling you guys why I'm no longer doing Moxie Charm so um, I've already opened the box so everything is just like out of the packaging. So I'm gonna try to put everything in the packaging while I explain to you guys why I'm canceling Boxy Charm. So I just feel like Boxy Charm has really been slacking on their products. Um, I feel like I get like a lot of like random stuff that I try not to ask for, um, such as like lip liners and like eyeliners, and they keep sending me that stuff. So I'm kind of upset about that. And then also. Um, I don't really wear makeup anymore. Um, this is the first time I've worn makeup in like a month. So I really don't wear it anymore. So I have no use for all of this makeup. And I'm just thinking like, why do I keep, you know, keep the subscription going like for a makeup box when I barely even wear makeup. So that's the thing. So that's why I'm just trying to like, cancel the subscription so I don't receive all of this makeup stuff anymore and yeah I can just really size down like what I have like on my vanity what I have in my room because I have a ton of stuff that I just don't use that just doesn't get touched and I want to use it and I wanted to get touched but it's just like okay well now everything is shut down I have nowhere to go I'm not gonna put on makeup just to sit in the house so no 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 so yeah so let's get started with this box so this is the April boxy premium box so the first thing that I saw when I opened my box was this palette this is the lunar beauty life's a drag color palette so this is what the packaging looks like it's a very pretty um it's like a metallic pink and let's go ahead and open this so this is what the cover looks like it has like a little 
drag eye design on it. <laughs> that was cute. Okay, but like I was saying, um, so let's go ahead and open it up. So it does come with a brush. Let me show you guys the brush first before it falls out. So this is a dual ended brush. Um, it comes with a flat side and then it comes with like a buffer side. So just a simple brush. Um, yeah, it's just simple, nothing much to it. And then it does come with a mirror. And then these are the colors it comes with. So it comes with 14 um, pigments and this is what they look like. So I have not used this palette yet and I'm not sure when I'm gonna use it because like I said, I have a million palettes and this one just has too many colors that I just wouldn't wear. Like it has, here, let me get these papers from Bella so she won't be disturbing my video. She's under my seat. So it has like these like fun like colorfuls and then it goes into like these neutrals and the blacks and then the white. Um, so yeah, the only color I can see myself probably using the most is this maroon, this yellow, and then this whole little three section right here. The rest of them probably won't get used, especially the white and the black as I don't use white or black eyeshadow. So this palette, let's see how much the palette was, guys. The palette was $45, um, which I expected it to be a little bit more. I'm surprised it was only $45. But yeah, this is it. Super, super cute. And I'm going to try to get rid of Bella, guys, because she's making so much noise. Oh, my gosh. That's why I have the door open for her. But she wants to, like, gravitate towards me all the time. Okay, there we go. So there's that. So the next product is this Cover FX Water Cloud Primer and it has pollution and blue light defense in it. So this is the packaging. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I should have used this product today. I don't know why I didn't. I used another primer, but um, this is what it looks like. Is that upside down? Okay, there we go. I can't tell because it's like, I don't know, backwards. But, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what color it is. So it's like a really light green color. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to squeeze it out, but it has like a lotion consistency, like a regular like hand lotion consistency. So I have not tried this, but this is probably the one of the most like, what am I saying? No, this is the product I want to try the most out of this box. So that primer was $38, which is kind of pricey. I probably would not buy a primer that's $38 because I use the ColourPop primer and that one's only like six to $8 and it's like perfect, I love it. So I wouldn't pay that much, but if you like primers then it's worth it. So the next product is in this bag. Um, it's by the brand Opulent Beauty and it's a trio facial brush set so let me go ahead and show you guys what they look like these are the brushes they have a clear handle which i've never had brushes like this so that was pretty cool but I, like i said i just bought new brushes um don't really need these for anything but i'll just save them for like whenever i need like a new brush so this is a flat head brush that it came with. Um, I'm gonna use that for foundation. It comes with a powder brush for your powders and then it comes with a buffer brush which I'm gonna use for like probably my, my concealers. So yeah just three brushes. Um, let's see how much these were. And then also I want to talk to you guys about um, a new box that I'll be getting soon. It's called Fab Fit Fun. I believe I'm saying that right or fit fat fun and I'm sure you guys probably heard of it but I'm gonna be doing videos on those boxes soon my April box well my spring box because they're quarterly boxes I'll explain more in the next video but it's actually on its way soon so I'll probably be doing another video soon on that okay now where was I okay so the brushes were $40 for the three brushes 
Okay, so next we have, this is by the brand Libido, Inspired by Nature. It has grapefruit seed, Melissa, and avocado in it. And it's an age away replenishing cream. It's supposed to firm, hydrate, and repair. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have not used this yet, but I probably will use it at night as a moisturizer. And this is what it looks like. It's not really big at all. It's about, well, it's 50 milliliters. So 1.69 ounces for dry, oh, I was gonna say nature skin. For dry, mature skin, this is what it's for. So there's that. Let's see, oh, Bella's back, guys. So this product was $69. And also, I just wanted to say that it has 11 innovative organic plant actives in it, and it's an anti-aging solution. So it's supposed to diminish the appearance of dryness, wrinkles, and rough texture while deeply nourishing mature skin. So there's that product. Okay, so next I wanna talk to you guys about, not talk to you guys about, but show you guys. This next product, it's by the brand Juice Beauty. It's called Phyto Pigments and it's a liquid lip. So I was so mad when I received this. It's in the color 03 Kate. I don't know if you guys heard this my phone now, but 03 Kate. So it is very bright and very pink. And this is another reason why I want to leave BoxyCharm because they don't listen to me um, when I tell them I don't want these colors, I don't want these products. And they just keep sending them to me. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like. This looks crazy on me. I look like a clown. I'm probably going to give this away. I actually am going to give this away because I have no use for it. And it's a really good brand. Like, it's a really good product, but I just, I can't wear it. So, this is the packaging. This is what it looks like. I'm sure they have, like, other cute colors, but I don't know why they sent me this. So, that lip product was $24. Let's see if it has anything fancy in it. So it also has plant-derived pigments from Cape Lilac, Cocinia, and cold pressed oils, and fruit stem cell serum, and all in it. All that's in it. <laughs> yeah, very fancy, um, very different than your average, like regular liquid lipstick. So, okay, I have one more product, guys. So the next product, this is Wander Beauty Mile High Club. And this is a volume and length mascara. So this is what it looks like. It's in the gold tube. And this is so funny because I just ordered recently a Wander Beauty mascara and it was trash. It was so trash, it was so bad. It was dry, um, it didn't really do anything for me. Um, I didn't really like it. I don't know the name of it, but it was by Wander Beauty and it was like this color. It was like maroon. So don't buy that mascara, guys. It's bad. <laughs> so this mascara, let's see how much this was. This was $26 and I'm pretty sure this one's not worth $26. Um, but yeah, I don't know why my work phone is going off, guys. I'm just, <sighs> but yeah. So yeah, this. So that is all for my box. Um, I hope you guys are really taking care of yourselves during this quarantine and really taking the time to, you know, just learn a little bit more about yourself. You guys probably have extra time to do like extra activities um, in the house, of course. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.